Order. Order. The results of the vote are not announced by the teller. Order. Honorable members, the results of the division on second reading of the Finance Bill 2024 is as follows. Eyes 204, nays 115, abstentions nil, so the eyes have it. Order, I now order for the bill to be read the second time. Order, order the house, the house is in session, order. Order, clerk. Order. A bill, for an act, a bill for an act of parliament to amend the law relating to various taxes and duties and for matters incidental thereto. Honorable members, the matter of the finance bill is now over. You wait for the committee of the whole. Those who have amendments to file you know the deadline was one o'clock. The clerk and his team will process those amendments. And as you are told, the House will sit on Tuesday morning when we'll proceed on the same matter. I now order that the next order be open the bar, open the doors. Now call out the next order. Order number nine, motion, consideration of Senate amendments to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill number 10 of 2024. Clerk, call the next order. Order number nine, motion, consideration of Senate amendments to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill number 10 of 2024. Order, honorable members, order, order, members who are leaving the chamber do so quietly. The next order has been called, order number nine, and I'm calling the chair, Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs, to 
move the motion. Those who are recessing out of the chamber do so quietly. The House is not adjourned, the House is in session. Honorable Murugara, proceed. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, sir. I beg to move that the Senate amendments to the Independent Electoral and the Boundaries Commission Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 10 of 2024, be now considered. Honorable Speaker, <clears throat> this House considered the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Amendment Bill and passed it with amendments, and thereafter it was forwarded to the Senate for consideration. I wish to report that the Senate considered the bill and returned it with some proposed amendments, which proposed amendments the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee did consider and prepared a detailed report in which it actually agreed with the Senate in the proposals. In essence, it means that the National Assembly should now agree with the Senate on the proposed amendments, in which case then we would amend the bill as proposed by the Senate, and after that we would actually pass it uh, ready for assent. The reason why the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee agreed with the Senate is that the proposed amendments are not major amendments as such, but are proposals that <clears throat> since the IABC Act is supposed to be considered by the two houses, the bicameral houses, where we have made a provision for the National Assembly, then there is also a mention of the Senate. It would have been tidier if the Senate had proposed that we delete the National Assembly and substitute, therefore, with the word Parliament. But since we are not supposed to touch this bill in any other way, so as not to necessitate mediation, we entirely agreed with the Senate and are now in agreement, and we do propose that we move to the Committee of the Whole House where the proposed amendments will be considered and once passed or adopted by this house, the bail will have passed through the two houses and will be ready for assent. Honorable members, please resume your seats. Honorable Madam Speaker, therefore I do beg the House to agree with the proposed amendments by the Senate and we move on to the Committee of the Whole House. With those remarks, I beg to move and request the Honorable Chepkonga, the Honorable Member for Anabukoi, to actually second. I would have given. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I rise to second uh, the proposed amendments from the Senate as uh, moved by the Chair of Justice and Legal Affairs, my very good friend, the Honorable Murugara, and I totally agree uh, that uh, this is the way we should go. Uh, we should consider the other house as also giving input uh, to the making of laws in this country. As you know, the Senate participates in making law, but it is this House that enacts laws. So I totally agree uh, that we, 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 we approve uh, the proposed amendments that have been forwarded to the House. I thank you. I, I second. Honorable members, I now propose the question that the Senate amendments to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 10 of 2024, be now considered. Yes, you may proceed. You have your card. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity.